channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys doing good, safe and sound. So today we are going to discuss about one of the area uh, which is really need for database administration role. So if you are supporting a database admin role, so you have to be very you know uh, much proactive on a capacity planning. So uh, today I will she uh, you know uh, will discuss uh, what are the areas you need to focus on a capacity prospective. So before starting the session, I would request in each and everyone who ever newly joined channel, please like to subscribe and don't forget to share with others. Please visit the channel playlist SQL Server DBA. So more than 200 videos which can help you on a real base scenario. And uh, if you are getting help, please like to subscribe to others also. And so let's start and discussion. Uh, so capacity planning one of the major area uh, for the database admission role. So let's say uh, you are supporting uh, 2000 SQL Server instance and uh, you have a very, you know, application uh, categorized like a, you know, um, priority wise like a diamond, uh, diamond application, uh, platinum or something like that. So if you know uh, what are the application having the high priority, even the those application having not high priority also your capacity you know uh, report should be up to date up to date so uh, we'll we'll talk about the one by one so first you categorize what are the critical application and for those application prepare a capacity report okay so capacity report nothing just a, you need to capture the you know database growth report like a, you can do like a quarterly half yearly or yearly so I would suggest to go with the quarterly. So uh, like, uh, you know, uh, if you uh, uh, check the database growth, uh, how it's happened in last quarter, and and if you compare from the next previous quarter, so you will identify get how much space is required uh, within a quarter. And on based on that report, you can discuss with the application owners. Uh, so these are the, you know, uh, growth happened on these databases. So what you thinking in a coming quarter, how much load is there and uh, is there any deployment is going to happen so that load will be increased. So you can be a uh, step ahead, uh, you can prepare the you know, capacity report and you can get the storage uh, with the, all the approvals and all. So this is one of the major area uh, as a DB admin role, uh, your capacity report should be up to date. So a lot of other uh, you know, factors uh, is involved because cost is involved to get the storage and all approvals, right? So uh, that's the reason you should be uh, very proactive in a capacity. So uh, for that, you can prepare n number of reports, but uh, I'm sharing this query uh, which help you to you know, get the reports uh, uh, with the database growth side and also and once you hit this query okay so it will give you the you know database name wise because i have no much database this lab server right so you can get the all the uh, growth and you can keep it in a excel you can extract right click here and uh, you can you know copy with header and you can take it in excel uh, apart from that we can we have n number of approach to get the so whatever is suitable for you so my my Motive is to you know make you understand why capacity is required, capacity planning is required. So in terms of capacity planning, you should be very proactive because it's a lot of approval, a lot of other factors involved, right? So uh, every quarter you should have some uh, capacity planning activity in your projects, right? So what are the critical database you can, uh, critical instance you can categorize first, then uh, lower than uh, most critical, and then uh, uh, less critical. So all, all, in fact, all needed, but yes, uh, whatever the critical application which that needs very uh, proactive approach. So motive is to understand why capacity planning is required. So based on that, you can get the approval and storage and you should avoid the outage right because if you you you, you think about the time you didn't did the capacity planning all of the sudden uh, next week application team is going to deploy huge load and you don't have storage now right so all of the sudden either you have to go with the ecr right so that's not a good sign okay so that's the reason you should run the capacity planning in your project okay so every every everyone who ever supporting the dba should have one activity like capacity planning okay 
and now you can take any approach and you can create ssrs report whatever you want a powershell script any sql